What's up everybody? Blue Gabe. As you can see, we're gonna go set some blue crab traps. But first, we need to get bait. Anytime you're throwing a cast net, always get it wet first. I haven't thrown it yet, I just dunked it in the water. There's a big school of silver mullet right here and I need them for bait. So we're gonna catch them and then we're gonna go set some traps. So I put it in my mouth. And I take my right hand and I start loading it, just like that. Until I get about half the net. Whoa! Oh! Oh! oh. A predator! Oh! You better hurry up! I got oh. him! I got the jack! Oh my gosh! I got him, babe! Jeez! Two of them! How epic is that? What? <laughs> <laughs> That's a YouTube moment and a half right oh there! Oh my gosh! What is the odds of that? Holy Dude, moly! Tell me that wasn't the YouTube gods asking. That was. <laughs> Oh my. How does it even, that's a YouTube video right there. So Literally. We're already done, we can go home. Oh my gosh. I just straight up caught a 20 pound river donkey. Two of them. There's two in there. Ah! Oh my gosh, what the, I How can't. does that even, ha that never happens for us. What? And we got all this mullet splashing. All the mullet we need in one cast, and two giant jacks. And guess what? We haven't even left the boat ramp. <laughs> Here's our thumbnail. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at that, one cast. All the bait I need, and two jacks. <laughs> I bet the jacks didn't see that coming. All right, don't panic. We're gonna get right back to the video in just a second. I gotta give a huge shout out to Jackery for being the title sponsor of this video and also making a product that's literally gonna change the game with YouTube as far as us catch, clean, and cook YouTubers. So for those of y'all that don't know, we live in South Florida, home of hurricanes, really bad storms, and a really big swamp called the Everglades. Now, Kelly and I have been wanting to go down there and film some videos to catch pythons, all kinds of crazy stuff, but we don't have a power source. Now, I could go buy a big gas generator, but that would be a pain in the butt on my airboat and also be dangerous toting extra gas in a can. Well, Jackery just solved our problem. This is the Jackery Explorer 1500. It puts off 1800 watts and it's solar powered. Or you can plug it into the wall or you can plug it into your truck and you can actually double down on both of them and charge this thing in less than three hours. The coolest thing is though, it's solar panel. And what solar panel means is it uses the sun's energy to create power. So the 1500 can take up to four of these solar panels which take less than a minute to set up and they weigh less than about a pound each. It's the most easy thing in the world to do. Like, Took me one second to figure it out and I'm so excited to have this product. All right, so now that we have our three panels plugged in, we could actually plug in one more. I don't need it right now. So it has three USB chargers, one being a quick charger. Hey, we'll use that one for my cell phone. You can actually charge seven things at one time. Got my computer. What you guys know about your wives wanting to blow dry their hair? Or a little portable heater for a tent or a little portable air conditioner for your tent? Ain't no problem. Now the unit itself is a little bit heavy, it's 33 pounds, but my airboat can hold it, my boat can hold it, put it anywhere in the truck. I promise you, this thing will make your life easier out in the outdoors. It has a built-in battery management system, so you don't have to worry about the battery failing. It's all around an awesome product. And one last thing, also has a little flashlight on the side. You never know when that'll come into handy. With any of the products that you see, including Jackery on my video, go in the link below this video and look in the description for Jackery Explorer 1500. Click on the website and it will take you right there if you're interested in getting one. Now back to the show. All right, All right this gentleman has our witness right behind you showing. <laughs> it was awesome. Was any of that fake? No, he threw it, he threw the net, he was talking about it. All of a sudden, bam, two of them were in there. <laughs> Look at that! Sorry buddy, I didn't mean to ruin your day. 
<laughs> Look at him. Look at him. He'll get going. There he goes. Oh, oh, oh no, oh, no. Way. wrong way. Save it. I'll save him. <laughs> it's like the, the Cubera in Puerto Rico. Getting in the water. Buddy, you went the wrong way. No. There you go. There he goes. Can we get back to the video now or what? Uh, uh, you watch YouTube? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check out my channel, Blue Gabe, and you'll be in it. All right, what's it called, Blue what? Blue Gabe. Blue, okay. Blue Gabe. Nice. All right. That was awesome. <laughs> so now we're gonna take these silver mullet, cut them up, put them in the traps, go set all the traps, go home. Kelly filmed an amazing video yesterday in Crystal River. Some of the most epic redfish drone footage I've ever seen. Y'all, this video is just getting started though. All right, well, since the jack wanted to start eating, and I know the big snook are eating, we caught a couple more baits to put in the well and try to get Miss Kelly Young a big snook or a jack or possibly a tarpon. That's a seven inch silver mullet. There's never been a better snook or jack bait when they're back in the river or even tarpon bait. So, hey, we're good to go. We'll see y'all back in the river. All right, so we left the boat ramp. We obviously caught those big jacks. We came back in the river and we set out all the traps. I have three different sizes, smaller, medium size, and then big traps. I set out half of them. Kelly set out the other half. So I try to put them in all different depths, some in four foot, some in about six foot, and then some in 10 foot. Right here in this pocket though, our tarpon and huge snook. We just got here. You hear that boat right here? We're like way back in the middle of the river. People have zero etiquette. It's insane. Is that their anchor? Yeah, Jeez. that was their anchor. So anyhow, there's a deep pocket right here. We're sitting in three foot and right on this point, it's like 18 foot. As that boat was coming by, I just reeled my mullet in so he didn't run it over. And right here by the back of the boat, a tarpon just tried to crush it. I'm thinking as everything quiets down, they'll probably start to bite good. And if you're wondering why we're fishing, it's such a far ride back here to put the traps out. We caught all this good mullet, why not? So let's talk about Kelly's video for a second. We were in Crystal River and we were red fishing. Look right here. That was definitely a tarpon. We were red fishing and we had no idea what we were doing. Captain Blake with Hang'em High Outfitters told us where to go, but he had a client with him. He couldn't really help us. You guys are going to love her video. And I'm going to show you a quick second of the most awesome drone footage of redfish. And then you're going to have to watch her video to see the rest. I hear a woodpecker. Oh, oh right there. Oh, no, no, no. Come here. Right here is a tarpon and snook candy. Now this rod's my old salty, it's my heavy duty one. This is my Mag's custom bigger snapper fishing rod. Just hook them right through the top of their lip with a big circle hook, 50 pound fluoro. I think this is 60 pound Beyond Braid mainline. Just gonna swing it out. Or not. What happened? I had a little kink in my line that threw the mullet off. Oh. Let's do, let's do a little take two on that. <laughs> take two. That was the perfect See mullet. See that tarpon roll right there? Oh. They're here. We just got to get them to eat. Just like the redfish. Now in the Keys, they catch a lot of tarpon on dead bait because Robbie's and Bud and Mary's have been feeding them so much. Now they're adapted to eating dead bait. Here though, they like live bait. I just want that mullet to free swim out there.
Maybe you have to like let him eat longer. He broke my line. How did Ooh. he break my line? Hmm. That must have been a shark. Oh, it could have been. Could have been a bull shark. No way a tarpon broke that line. Yeah, no. Yeah, bull shark. Darn it. Sharks are everywhere now. They're following us. Got some water? No, we're here to catch tarpons. Oh. Oh. Dude, fish just ate him right there. Leave it there, he might come back. Went from no bites to two bites back to back. That had to have been a shark. Oh, 100%, it was probably a bull shark. Let me get it. God, he just came right out of his freaking mouth. <laughs> the <laughs> I think he just took the, the bait off my hook. I don't got a mullet, but I don't have a mullet on here anymore. Can Jeez. we talk about your outfit? Oh no, I got sh it had to be a shark. Oh! <laughs> there it is, go set the hook, set the hook quick. Circle hook. Take the clicker off, go forward and take the clicker off. Before he even jumped, I didn't even have time to bow down. That was about a two and a half, three foot tarpon. Hey, we're getting whooped. They've been busting our butt. That that I had to get cut off by a shark. <laughs> Jesus. But wait, there's not even a. There's a hook. Oh, okay. He just took it off. Get you a fresh bait on your spinning rod. Oh, you don't have a leader? No, I don't have a hook anymore. He, the whatever, uh, must have been shark. That was probably about three foot tarpon. Just jumped and went up, spit my bait out. Oh gosh, oh gosh. I got two fish on. Oh man. <laughs> you want me to grab? Oh my gosh. Get, just get this tarpon on camera that's about to jump. Come on. There he goes. You got him. What about this one though? I don't know. <laughs> well, whatever's on Here that one. Here he comes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Spooked me. Look at you. When you're using braid like this, you can't go as hard on them as you normally can because there's no stretch. How weird is it that I got a fish on that rod too? I just want to touch this fish to say I've caught one in the river. Fish here my whole life and I've never done this. Never caught one. Touch. You got it. Look at that. Oh, they're so strong. Ow. Ready? Beautiful. One. One, two, three. All right, let's turn him loose. Oh, he's got me. Oh, yeah. Let me see it go, bro. <sighs> Babe, we got one more. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, whatever this is came off. What uh, do you think that was? Uh, <laughs> Look at 
at my poor mullet head. What happened? So as you can see, it's the next day. We've just pulled all of our traps and we only have a few crabs thus far. I haven't crabbed this year at all. So maybe they're out in the main part of the river. I don't know. But I want to talk to you about the tarpon you just watched me catch. Kelly was actually up the bat, but she was in the back doing something and my spinning rod got hit. We don't know what it was, but at the same time, I was trying to get the big rod situated and a tarpon ate it and jumped all the way into the mangroves. So I ended up catching it. We're gonna come back soon and do nothing but put Kelly and my mom on a tarpon back here in the river because this place is amazing. This is actually our last trap. You gotta be kidding me. Best like, one for last? <laughs> How is the last trap gonna be the only one with keepers in it. Maybe we don't need to put them out, out there. We need to put them in back here because this is the farthest trap in. Huh. Well, you know what this means? We caught three keeper redfish, but we could only keep two in Crystal River. Kelly's gonna cook one and now I'm gonna make some kind of redfish dish and these blue crabs. Now we're gonna do a bunch more blue crabbing videos over the summer, so don't get discouraged. This was really just a, like a tester video for me because anytime you're doing something and you haven't done it in a while, you gotta put out some test traps. You gotta go fish a spot and you might not catch any fish. That's why I put all those misses in this video because that's reality. Kelly and I were trying to film. We were also trying to enjoy ourselves because we had been on a three day filming grind but it's just in our nature to try to grab a camera. So fortunately for that, y'all got to watch. But as for now, I'm gonna put these in the bait well. I'll see y'all back at my house where we're gonna cook something amazing, trust me. And I wanna show y'all a little bit of the mailbox Mondays cause I haven't done that in a while. People have been sending us a ton of stuff and I'll try to go through some of that. So see you back at my house. Y'all already know it. We're about to throw it down in the kitchen. Look at that big joker. Now anytime I'm using crab, or anytime I'm using, anytime I'm cooking crabs, I use my can cooker because it cuts the time in half and it actually pressure cooks them a little bit. I put about two cups of water and a half a cup of vinegar in there and that'll keep the meat from sticking. This is the cool part about a can cooker. It's going. Now that I have the crabs in there, I'm going to start my broccoli. Kelly actually taught me how to make the broccoli like I'm doing it right now. I also want to make my sauce. So I've got some Malibu rum, some pina colada mix, it's a hard word to say. I'm going to add about a tablespoon of butter, about uh, that much of that, <laughs> and about equal amount of rum. Now the kids will be eating dinner with us tonight but the heat cooks all that alcohol out of there. This will boil down to a sauce. It'll get a lot thicker. If you follow my videos much, you'll see that last summer I did a grouper video and I did this recipe. I'm just doing it a little bit different this time. So the broccoli, all I have is olive oil in there. That's it. And it's almost like you're searing it slash just cooking it enough to give it a little crunch, and it's good like this. Cast iron skillet too. Yeah, cast iron skillet. It does require a lot of olive oil to do it like this though. And I like to hit it with some salt. salt. Now I'm not fancy like old Kelly Young, I'll just use any kind of salt, don't matter. Mm -hmm. We just got done filming her video. So as you see, as the alcohol evaporates out, the sauce gets a lot thicker. And at which case, I'm going to add some garlic. You and your squeezed garlic. That's the best garlic. It's so easy. Like, <laughs> how would it be? Now, the kids love picking crab, and I like picking crab. And I also wanted to make this dish to where any of y'all could make it that can't pull your own crab trap. So I just went and bought lump crab meat. Just that simple. This is such a summery dish, like fresh, makes you feel like you're in the sun. 
I don't want to cook this crab meat too much though, really. I'm just wanting to warm it up and infuse it with the sauce that we've made. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all already know it's going to be good. So I turned it down to simmer and just added some butter. Just a little bit more butter. Let it cook down. This is actually going to make like a topping. So that there is a beautiful piece of redfish. Actually, I think that's the redfish I caught. Let me show you real quick. Look how pretty it was when we were fishing in Crystal River. I promise you, you won't be disappointed in Kelly's video she's making right now of that trip. So all I did is cut the bloodline out of the center. And I'm trying to get the pieces about like that right there. So these two will obviously cook a lot faster than these three. I just melted down a little bit more butter, a little bit of olive oil. Just like so. I'm going to add my fish. Where's my Lowry's garlic salt? Y'all already know I love that stuff. That's it. It's, this is such a fresh, easy meal that you don't need a ton of seasonings. Not even, not a ton at all. I'm going to turn the heat up on the broccoli and start putting a little bit of, almost like a char, I guess is the right word. I bet you the crabs are done too. Let's see. That's the nice thing about can cooker. They have these rubber caps to where you can touch it and it won't hurt you. I was just going to say, it's going to be hot. Look at that. Wait. Ooh, look at them all lined up single file. Like, there. hello, how are y'all? Hello, my little friend. I'm going to let them cook for one more minute. Would you order that at a restaurant? What about if I did this right here? Just drizzled some of that crab meat and that sauce right on top of it. Mm. I'm telling you right now, Kelly and I just ate at a seafood restaurant two times in a row in Crystal River and it was really good. But I can promise you they didn't have anything on the menu that was that good. That's amazing. Now the reason I didn't pick the shells is because my, my kids love doing that. So I just bought some. Hey. Broccoli, pan-seared redfish topped with crab meat, some crabs to eat. Y'all, let's go to the table. Well, the kids were going to eat with me, but they're outside playing with water guns, and they're completely filthy, and they're not coming up in this house. So, as you can see, this is all kinds of cool stuff that people have sent us. We've got dirt-smelling soap. We've got earplugs made of bullets. Not live bullets, obviously. What did you say? Okay. Oh, this is good if you have kids, you can't hear them. <laughs> Got this amazing piece of art made by a woman that was inspired by our Puerto Rico videos. She handmade that amazing piece of thing. That's going somewhere up in this house. We've got some seasonings. We've got mini pin fishing rods, which I don't want to show you too much of because we're actually going to make a YouTube video out of that. We've got amazing cleaning supplies, awesome letters. We've got Seymour Maps, which is definitely a game changer. I'm going to do a complete video on this right here because this literally changes the way you can fish in the ocean. Got all kinds of cool lures. Check out these horseshoe crabs that Luke and I found at the sandbar. Just got all kinds of cool stuff. And I don't have time to name everybody by name because I don't want to leave some people out and then say some other people's names. If you sent me this, I really appreciate it. Kelly really appreciates it and it will be put to good use and you'll probably see me use all of this in a video. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Happy early birthday to me. <laughs> now the crabs, I'm going to show you a tech tip. Over the sink, put a strainer in there Pop their head, wash their guts, take their gills off, and everything stays in the strainer. Then mama won't get mad at you. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Hey, 
I appreciate y'all watching this video. I'm very appreciative of you checking out my girlfriend Kelly Young's channel. And if you don't already know this, which you probably should, my brother, Robert Arrington has a channel called Deer Meat for Dinner. And he's like one of the people who started videos like these, so definitely check him out. But right now, I want to eat all this crab before Kelly gets over here and tries to eat it. So, we will see y'all in the next one. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for all the positive comments. But like Jake always says, it's time to get up out of here. Get the heck out of shape.